The Mayerson Academy presents the Orton Gillingham Multisensory Reading Teaching Approach. Introducing the material is Barb Buer, an Orton Gillingham Master Teacher and Trainer. I'd like to give you some background on the Orton Gillingham approach. Samuel Orton, a neuropsychiatrist and pathologist, was a pioneer in calling attention to reading failure and related language processing disorders. With his understanding of neurology and his interest in individuals with written language disorders, he was able to envision an instructional approach to teaching skills that would interweave both fields of knowledge. He began his studies of the syndrome of reading disorders as early as 1925 and realized the solution to the disability would have to be educational. Anna Gillingham, an educator and psychologist, analyzed the structure and the organization of the English language. She implemented Orton's teaching principles into teacher training programs and teacher materials to be used with students. The Orton-Gillingham approach is a language-based, multi-sensory, structured, linguistically and logically sequenced program. It teaches the students just how a written language code works. It is an approach for teaching written language skills in which the teacher can utilize many materials. It's not a set of books, teacher's manuals, or workbook pages to be followed page by page. There are various drill work procedures used in a typical Orton-Gillingham lesson that assures that the student is learning to associate speech sounds with their written forms. The goal is that the linguistic rules of our language are gradually learned to as automatic level as possible so the student can apply them spontaneously when needed. The teacher must keep in mind the four essential skills needed to be taught to a student who is learning to read and spell. They are, one, the student must be taught to recognize the letter form or forms and know all the sound possibilities for each unit. Two, the student must be taught to blend sounds together in any order they occur in any word easily enough so they can recognize the words they know. Three, the student must be taught to hear sounds in isolation and know all the ways to spell that speech sound. And four, the student must be taught to hear normal word pronunciations, primarily their own pronunciations, and be able to separate or segment them into speech sounds. Eventually, they should know the ways to spell each sound and make linguistically and logical spelling choices from what they have been taught. On this video, you will be watching two of the master teachers associated with the Mayerson Orton Gillingham course, myself and Sheila Lige, and an Orton trained classroom teacher, Ken Stevenson, who is currently using OG in the classroom on a daily basis. Ken Stevenson will be working with a first grader named Sandra. He will also be working with a group of kindergarten and first grade students. I will be working with a third grader named Carter. And Sheila Lige will be working with a fourth grader named Asia.